Have you ever stood with one foot at Sinai and the other in Sin City? What if your sanctuary was also your home and the ancient prayers therein pierced you to the core like the music of Pink Floyd? I'm sure. I was a rabbi's kid during the wackiest, tackiest decade in American history, the 70s. A yeshiva girl during the heyday of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Instructed to love God with all my heart and all my soul and all my might while politely applauding the rock and roll revolution from the family pew of the sanctuary. Doing the hustle and the horror, staying alive. You see, I've been to day school on a horse with no name yeah. and heard laughter in the chrain. As a rabbi's girl in the 70s, my life was a mashugana mashup I like to call gefilte groovy. Shalom Alechem and Sunny and Cher. Talmud and the Time Warp. Keep and kosher and kissing boys. Karl Bach and Don Kirshner, we are Kagama Zone and Billy Joel, Star Trek and the State of Israel, Soviet Jews and the Family Stone, Abba and my Abba, Watergate and one God in Heaven, Gilligan's Isle and Gold Mayor, Monty Python, Moshe Dayan, Iggy Pop and Porin, Bowie and Babka, Hendrix and Halva, Getting Wasted and Going Too Sure, Ron Pom, Rackers and the Ramones, Dominic and David Cassidy, who got arrested again today. They're coming to take me away, haha! I didn't need a funk band to tell me to freak out. I was a brown eyed girl in a psychedelic world. Leia in the sky with diamonds. I wanted hot stuff, but settled for hot pastrami. I was born to run, but shackled to the sanctuary. My life was totally schizophrenic. One minute I was singing, I don't alum, and the next, love to love you, baby. On Friday night, I blessed the Sabbath queen, but on Saturday night, I worshiped the music of Queen from my house in Queens. <laughs> I was stuck in the middle with Jew, just a subway ride away from salvation. Oh, baby, baby, it was a wild world. I was trying to get high, but I kept getting high. <laughs> to find my place in American society, I turned to the Rebbies of Rock, the Sultans of Swing, and the philosophers of funk, punk, and pop. I believed in the Torah of my ancestors, tempered by the Talmud of the times. I sought the freedom of the secular sphere, yet longed for the safety of sanctuary. And I loved God. I loved God so much, more than Barry Manilow loved Mandy, more than John Denver loved Annie, more than Mick Jagger loved Angie, more than the Beatles loved Michelle, and more than those Scottish guys who were going to walk 1,000 miles. We called God Hashem, the name. Hashem was the meaning in my life. Hashem was my inspiration. Hashem was here, Hashem was there. Hashem was truly everywhere. Am I done? No. Okay. The Torah portion instructs us, as everybody has said, Yasuli Mikdash v'shachanti b'tocham. And they will build for me a sanctuary, and I will dwell within them. Believe in the portable God, the God of the people, the God of the tabernacle, and the God of the sanctuary. Feel the indwelling of God in the sanctuary of your heart. Let God inhabit your holy of holies. Let Hashem be your homie. I believe that our, our lives' work is to fuse the clashing and the cacophonous, fashioning them into a teruma, a voluntary gift for God. Our words can be a teruma. Our actions can be a teruma. Our decisions can be a teruma. I reach back to my adolescence in the schizophrenic 70s and embrace the struggle and the conflict. And I find that I have everything I need to make my teruma.
Thank you. Yeah.